I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a weather vane. I take three fingers at the top, in the center, and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, curve line out, zigzag, zigzag, zig, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, little curve line in, big curve line down, up, and connect. I come up to the top and I draw one, two, three curved lines. Come over here, we're going to draw a curve line down, straight line in, connect, put a dot, Put a dot, come over here, we're going to draw curve line down, up, connect. Right about here we're just going to draw a curve line down, up, connect, straight line, little curve line, straight line, up, connect, one, two, straight lines, and a baby circle. Now. We're going to draw a straight line out, jump over, straight line down. Come over here on the top, straight line down, jump over, straight line down. At the top we're going to put N, E, S, I'm going to bring that down a little bit so it fits and W. Now come underneath this space, draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Come back to the left, little curved line, connect. Right at this point we're going to draw a straight line diagonal all the way to that corner. Come back up on the right, straight diagonal down to that corner. Come inside and we're just going to draw straight diagonal lines all the way down connect. All of us will have a different amount because we all draw differently. Inside each space we're just going to draw straight lines. They don't have to be even, they don't have to connect. Straight lines all the way down. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There. Now, these are called animation lines. They are to show movements. We're just going to put curve line, curve line on the left, and over here, curve line, curve line on the right. Come inside this space right here, and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line up and leave it floating. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my red and color in this space up on top and this space down below with red and then I'm going to color each one of these little spaces also red. Now, you can make your own decision about how to color this bottom space. I chose red because I wanted the top part of my drawing to be balanced by color on the bottom part. And that's an interesting concept because a weather vane is also balanced. It's heavier at the front because that's going to be the part that's weighted to follow the direction of the wind. So I'm doing the top part red and I'm doing the bottom part red. 
But like I said, you can do whatever colors you wish. Okay. Now I'm just going to take orange and put a little bit of orange right here on this space. And then I'm going to take regular blue and I'm just going to add curve line, 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 curve line. This is to show movement, curve line, curve line, and curve line, curve line. All right, now, holding all of this together is this space right here. This is the mechanism, this top part that holds it all together. And this bottom part holds the directionals, north, south, east, and west. And inside this space, we're going to make this brown. So the top parts I made gray, this part I'm making brown. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is our weather vane all colored in. A weather vane is a device that indicates from which direction the wind is blowing. They're whimsical but useful. Okay, bye-bye.